today we'll be creating a Christmas wreath from a Dollar Tree pizza pan. So if you're interested in this, please do stick around. Welcome guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Claudette with Miss Puff Creative Corner. Let's jump right into our project. So first off, I took my pizza pan out in the backyard and I'm gonna give that a good coat of the Rust-Oleum Flat Protective Enamel in the white. I'm spraying it on the beveled side. So I want good coverage on that. So I'm gonna spray it good till I don't see any silver at all showing. Next to sealing my white paint, I'm going to take the Rust-Oleum lacquer and spray that with a couple coats. Using some nautical rope that I got from the Dollar Tree, we're going to go ahead and create a loop to hang our wreath. The first thing that I did was cut 8 inches of the nautical rope, fold that in half and adhere that to our pan, which created the loop to hang our wreath. Next, you want to go ahead and take the nautical rope and start from one edge of where that loop is started and go ahead and glue that nautical rope to the edge of the pizza pan. If you guys are getting any creative value from this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos. Next, I'm going to add a second layer of that nautical rope and I'm going to run it along the edges of the beveled area of the pizza pan. I got this idea from the Posh Paper Ladies channel. I believe her daughter, Baby Posh, was selling some wreath. So I tried to recreate one of those wreaths that she was selling. Go ahead and check out the Posh Paper Ladies channel. She has some awesome creations over there. So to add to this rustic look, I'm going to get out my ruler and a pencil. I'm going to add some lines to this to give it a shiplap look. Next, I'm going to add some brush strokes with my Waverly Wax paint, which I got from Walmart for $1.67, and I'm going to buff those out with a clot. So to create my bow, I'm using a black and white checkered ribbon from the Dollar Three. It's about 2.5 inches wide. I am going to cut two pieces. One is measuring 15 inches. The other one is measuring 20 inches. I'm going to start with a 15 inch. I'm going to take my silicone mat, put that in the middle so to protect my um, ribbon from sticking on itself and I'm just going to glue the edges together. I'm just going to overlap those edges with the hot glue and glue those down and I'm going to do the same thing with the 20 inch piece. Next, we're going to stack up the 15 inch on top of the 20 inch piece of ribbon. Then we're going to get a third piece that's measuring 20 inches, wrap that around the two layers, tie it in the back, and that would create the legs for our bows. You're going to fluff that up to your liking, and you could also at this point cut fishtail cuts to the tip of your tails. I'm just going to add that to the wreath and see how it is, how it looks. I'm going to add some rustic bells that I got from Hobby Lobby in the My Little Christmas sections. They were $3.99. It comes six in a pack and I got that at 50% off. So we're just going to glue that right below the loop. I'm just going to add the bow above that to see how it looks. I got a poinsettia pick from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take, I'm going to pull that apart and use the greenery and the pine cones. I was trying to see if I could use the poinsettias, but I don't like how the poinsettias have look. Maybe it's just my placement. I 
So now I'm just going, I like how that's looking. I'm going to add some glue and add my bow to the wreath. Then I'm going to take some snow and go ahead and spray those greenery. And I'm going to add those alongside of the bow with some hot glue. These greenery are pliable so you could bend them to the shape of the curve. I'm also going to spray my pine cone with the Santa snow which I got from Walmart. I'm going to stick those pine cones into the side see how that's looking and once I like how it look I'm going to go ahead and add some glue and adhere those down. I'm just adding a little wax paper to the back of my wreath to protect my surface area. So I got this wooden truck ornament from Hobby Lobby. The original price was $4.99 and I got that at 50% off. I removed the twine and I filled the hole with some cork. So I'm going to cut out a sentiment that says Merry Christmas. I'm using some black glimmer paper and I'm going to use my Merry Christmas dies and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. These are retired products by Stamping Up. You could use your Cricut or you could use your brother scan and cut to create your sentiment. Before I add any adhesive to my sentiment I'm just going to lay it out to the bottom of my wreath so I could place my truck evenly. I'm going to add some hot glue to the back of my truck and go ahead and center that and just add some pressure to help it to stick down nicely. When I'm happy with that placement, I'm going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge to the back of my sentiment. I only had the gloss, glossy Mod Podge, but I would recommend using the matte finish because um, if you have any seepage that comes out on your wreath, that shiny spot would show, so I would recommend again using the matte finish. And it would be nice to seal the top of your sentiment with some Mod Podge. Being that mine was glossy, I didn't go ahead and seal that. So I just use a paper towel to dab off the excess Mod Podge and that pressure would help your sentiment to adhere nicely to your wreath. If you guys love what you see here today, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And my plan is to just go ahead and hang this to my the outside on my front door. So my final touch is to add fishtail cuts to the end of my ribbons. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Claudette and I'll catch you guys on my next video.